Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing this makeup look for you. I'm really excited about this one because it is so easy, very minimalistic, and it just looks good. You look healthy, you look glowy, and it's easy and you didn't really do anything to achieve it. So if you guys wanna see this makeup look that I came up with, then let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with my NYX Pore Filler. I absolutely love this primer. I am one that loves to fill in my pores if I can at any time. I honestly, I just can't stand seeing them. They're, they're really nasty. I'm gonna move straight onto foundation. I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This is in the shade 710. It's a little bit too dark for me, but we can, we can fix it with concealer. I chose this foundation for this look because I think that I just wanna look fresh and dewy and exactly what it says. I just wanna look healthy and that's exactly what this foundation is gonna do. It does oxidize, definitely. Take note of that, it does oxidize, so I definitely did get a darker shade, and it oxidizes. So just take note of that. But you can always fix with concealer. I'm trying to avoid my under eyes a bit because I wanna apply concealer there and I don't wanna make it too heavy. So now that my skin's looking really healthy, I'm gonna go ahead and brighten my under eyes with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Light Chantilly. I really wanna make this look super bright and bronzy and just kind of like focus on how healthy my skin is looking. So I want to make sure that I have a really bright concealer for my under eyes and this one does exactly that. I love my Tarte Shape Tape as well but this one is just a little bit brighter and it's going to just really make my under eyes pop and all the other parts that I'm going to highlight. I'm just going to pat all that out with my damp beauty sponge. And I'm gonna go ahead and of course contour a little bit with my Jordana Sculpt and Go. I always use this in basically every video. I'm just gonna do a little bit. I don't wanna do too much just because my face is already kind of tan because the foundation oxidized a bit, but I do wanna do a bit of contouring. Now I'm gonna go ahead and brighten my under eyes with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I'm just going to comb them out. I want to kind of make them look a little bit more on the natural side today. And I'm not going to carve them out like I normally do. But I am just going to kind of add a little bit of color to them. So I'm just going to fill in like my sparse spots. I'm going to fill in my sparse spots and just do a little bit of carving. But I'm not going to do carving with concealer. I want to kind of make them look a little bit more natural. So for eyes today, I'm literally just going to use one big fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with this Sugar Eye Candy palette. This is supposed to be like the knockoff for the Perfectly Peach palette, I think by Too Faced. But I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this shade and this shade and do a little bit of mixing and that's going to be my shadow for the day. I'm literally just going to buff this all over the lid pretty much, but I don't want to go too dark. I'm really, really wanting to make this a subtle eye look and just give it a little bit of definition. So that's literally it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep away my baking. So for bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this e.l.f. bronzer right here that I haven't used yet. I've definitely swatched. This is in the shade Warm. I'm just going to give it a swirl and add a bit of color to my face because why not? I love being bronzed. And that's what this whole look is about. It's just looking really glowy and fresh and just beautiful overall. I like this bronzer too because it does have a little bit of like a sheen to it. For highlighter today, I'm gonna go into this Rose Highlight Collection palette by Bad Habit and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. It's called Hashtag All Day. 
It's like a peachy champagne shade. I thought this would be perfect for this look. It's a little dark for my skin, but it's okay. These highlighters are pretty good for being only $10. Of course, I'm going to get my chest, my collarbones, because I just want to look glower. So I'm going to finish off the eyes with this mascara by e.l.f. It's their Mineral Infused Mascara. I've been using it for the past couple days, and I enjoy it. It really is just kind of like a typical drugstore mascara but it doesn't clump and I really feel like it has made a difference in the length of my lashes when I'm not wearing false lashes but I'm really not too picky with mascara just because I usually am wearing false lashes but for today we're not so I feel like this is a good mascara because it does make my eyelashes look pretty long. So while we're letting the first coat of mascara dry, we're going to go ahead and start on the lips. I'm excited for this bold lip. You know me, I am not one to go out of the house really with bold lips, except during Christmas or the holidays. I just feel more confident because everybody else is rocking a red lip during the holiday season. So I'm more like prone to leaving the house with this on. Um, for today's look, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this Jante Blue um, lip liner in the shade Rich Red, and then I'm going to go and top it with the Tardis lip paint in the shade XOXO. They're just very bold, matte colors. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and add a second coat of mascara. So yeah, anyways, here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!